Okay, so for the first time in three months, I'm recording a video. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. Hey everyone, it's Jeff. I hope you're doing well, genuinely. I really hope that you've been well. Uh, it's been a while, so hi. I've been getting a lot of messages from y'all asking me when I'm coming back to YouTube or why I left and stuff like that. So I figured this would be the best way to do that. I wanted to talk about my break because I have absolutely no idea why that happened. That's, no, that's a lie. <laughs> uh, this is why I left YouTube. A lot has happened in the last few months. I went to the Badlands. I headlined my first Pride show, which was awesome. I met some of y'all, which was even more awesome. And I moved, so this is the new room, my new bedroom. It's, it's pretty schnazzy. But moving was both awesome and not so awesome in the fact that moving really kicked my ass. Like, it took me out of commission much longer than I was expecting. So mentally things weren't really all that great. I couldn't pull myself to do videos or do things that I was passionate about because I was struggling. I really was fighting with my depression and my anxiety and the automatic thoughts that I thought that I had kind of worked through with my therapist, um, they came back. And I was really upset with myself for, I guess, losing, quote unquote, losing the progress that I had made with my therapist. And that just started snowballing a lot of things. And really I should have known that something was coming, that that, that was kind of on the horizon with my, my burnt out creative video. So that was like big red flag number one that I, being stubborn as I am, didn't, uh, didn't see that that was going to be an issue, but <laughs> here we are, I'm human and I'm learning still. And as a human being who feels a lot of things quite intensely, there was just so much going on that I completely shut down. That was scary for me because it was the first time that that had happened in a long time for me. Um, where my depression and my anxiety really flared up like to an extreme degree and I just, I needed a break. I needed time away. I needed time to think. I needed time to get my feet under me instead of feeling like I was constantly drowning because that's what it felt like for me. A lot of creators, myself included, put their heart and soul into what they're creating and unfortunately, I just did not have the energy or the drive really to make anything because I was so, so empty for a good long time. A weakness that I have is I do often put other people first above myself. And so with me struggling, I wanted to make videos for other people because they're helpful to them. People tell me how helpful the videos are. And for me, I felt like I was maybe letting people down by not making videos. And then I really had to take a step back and think about it and be like, I can't help other people if I'm not helping myself. So I'm sorry if I disappointed you in some way, shape or form, but I'm also not sorry for taking care of myself and doing what I needed to do. And a step away from social media was really the best thing that I could do uh, to take care of myself. And now I am better. <laughs> I'm getting better. I can't say that I'm 1000% there yet, but definitely have my feet under me and I'm ready to run and do what needs to be done. And now that I'm, I guess, back in commission, I should also note that I will be in Philadelphia for the Philly Trans Health Conference. So if you see me and you want to say hi, feel free to do so. That could be pretty cool. <laughs> and as far as videos go, I don't know if I can guarantee two times a week. So videos are just going to happen when they happen. And yeah, we'll do that. And since a lot of you have been waiting to hear these words, as always, you are valid, you are loved. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>